Welcome to Happy Crappy Paints Part 7, where I paint the bone golem and the skull piles. Uh, the skulls are from the adventure pack and the bone golem is a mini from the king pledge minis. These are really simple to do and that's why I chose them. I didn't have a lot of time to paint one evening and decided that I'll do these because they're very quick to do and they're very simple. It's basically null oil and then adding a dry brush of a lighter tone afterwards in one or more layers of dry brushing and that's it. As you can see uh, after you add null oil uh, pick pick off some of the null oil uh, where it pulls too much so that you don't get too much of it. So uh, add a lot of null oil to both of the skull piles and also the bone golem you could also go agrax earth shade here instead of null oil to get a more brown bone color that actually looks really good as well it looks like an older skeleton versus uh, um, maybe a um, freshly dead bone golem for dry brushing the first color tone I chose a sharp to bone again with the purpose of not using too many colors for this series of uh, this YouTube series soak the brush with the paint you intend to use and then rub most of it off on a paper towel you shouldn't really be seeing any paint on the paper towel uh, after you brush most of it off and for the first tone cover the uh, whole skull pile and with the second tone add more towards the top of the skull pile. Do the same for the uh, bone golem. Golem, rather. The golem. Not what I intended to say. Some parts of the golem is ha ha hard to reach. For the second tone, I chose one of the Citadel dry brush paints. Uh, you don't need to use a dry brush paint, really, or dry paint, really. Um, you can use any matte white to add some highlight to the tops of the skulls. So go lighter with that color than the Oshapti bone. So that's the end result. You can actually just paint the base black now and be done with the bone golem. Or you can do what I did and uh, continue with the base a little bit to make it l a little more interesting. So I'm going to add sand to it. Uh, do that by using wood glue. Normal wood glue you can get in any craft store. Add two large droplets of glue. Then spread it out uh, over the base. My experience is that you shouldn't be spreading glue all the way to the edge of the base and not too close to the mini. Uh, the sand uh, will um, go over the edge of the glue and extend a little bit beyond the edge of the glue. The base also looks more interesting in my mind if uh, the sand did not go all the way to the edge of the base. Uh, so here I'm, I'm using the Citadel sand uh, it's quite expensive, but it'll last a lifetime. Uh, but you can use any washed sand, really, for this. Just dunk it in there and let it dry for a long, long time. Um, overnight, preferably. And then brush the excess sand off. 
and uh, I used Agrax Earthshade on top on the sand to make it a, a dirt mud type base. You can use uh, a lighter grey or a, a null oil if you want it to be more gravel looking or maybe inside of a dungeon looking. But I'm, I'm imagining this to be mostly an outs outside game, so I'm using Agrax to give it a, a dirt look. I'm using Terminus Stone. Again, you don't use need to use these specific uh, dry paints for this to bring some of the details to the stone. It doesn't show much here, but it actually adds quite a lot of character and depth to the sand if you dry brush on top of it, which I highly recommend that you do. And then just painting the edges of the sand black and the edge of the base black and then uh, then we're done. I decided that uh, I didn't want to add any additional detail to the bone golem. I considered uh, using Firebright Dragon f uh, Firebright for some of the eye sockets to make some of the eyes like burning could could have been an interesting detail or you could make um, the feet maybe slightly brown like it's running in dirt or uh, you could add more white dry brush to the top to make it the, li the lighter make it lighter but uh, other than that I thought this looked good so uh, thanks for watching <laughs>